Hey guys, I'm finally back with a follow-up video on the Grizzly bandsaw. Um, making this video has been a tall task to complete. Uh, I've had a lot going on in the last couple of weeks, and I've been saying I'm going to do the follow-up video when everything in the world tries to come up and, and mess me up from deleted footage and you name it. It's probably happened in trying to make this video. Uh, you see here I'm cutting through some olive wood, uh, and it's cutting a lot smoother a lot cleaner and not bogging down. So I made several adjustments and changes with the first being a new blade. Uh, the saw comes with a 3 8 inch blade from the factory and I bought a Timberwolf half inch blade with four T per inch or four TPI that's made for resawing off of Amazon. I believe it was 20 or 30 bucks. Um, changing the blades on this saw is pretty straightforward. And it's very similar to the wind saw that I have. Um, it was a bit tricky to get the tension and tracking just right. Uh, but altogether, it only took a couple of minutes, maybe 15 minutes, to get the blade changed out and then get everything running smoothly. Uh, I also made adjustments to the bottom and top guide bearings, whereas in the last video, I only adjusted the top guide bearings. Um, while the, I like the quick adjustment knobs on the top guide bearings, the bottom guide bearings have hex head bolts and they're a little hard to adjust, hard to get a wrench to in order to adjust them. Uh, the biggest change I made was adjusting the tension on the drive belt. The saw has two possible speeds that are set by the pulleys that the drive belt is on. In order to make that change, the motor has two bolts you have to loosen uh, to move the belt. One is on top, and then the other one you see here is below the motor. Uh, you have to loosen those bolts in order to move the belt. Uh, when I checked these bolts, they were already loose from the factory, a good bit loose. I moved the motor over to the right in order to get more tension on the belt, and then I tightened the bolts. Uh, the manual says there should be about three-eighths of an inch of slack in the belt. Uh, once it's adjusted properly uh, and when I made the adjustment I could almost pinch the belt together in between the two pulleys that's how loose it was so that was the biggest issue that I had in that last video and the really probably the only cause in the power issue that I had in that uh, previous video um, so this adjustment here, tightening that belt was what truly fixed this saw. Um, after making all these adjustments, uh, I tried again to resaw that four and a half inch piece of walnut that I tried in the previous video, and it cut right through with no issues and no power loss. Um, I was very pleased with the results of this saw after I've made these adjustments. There was little to no uh, blade drift uh, during the resaw cut. It left a, a pretty clean cut which I attribute uh, more to the blade as far as that goes. Um, I think using a feather board would probably also help make a cleaner cut as me moving my hands to readjust my position and everything I think has caused some of the blade marks that I saw after I cut through. Um, but yeah, I think this saw is a good saw uh, now that I've made these adjustments. Uh, and I hope this video helps and you making a decision on a bandsaw purchase or maybe it helps you fix one you already have uh, I should have checked the manual before I made my first cut but I'm an impatient guy and I was trying to rush into things um, I'll have links to this saw and the blade that I used in the description um, if this video was helpful I would greatly appreciate a like and a subscribe um, thanks for watching